This workshop will require your students to team up and make a marble run. Think teeny tiny roller coaster. Their ball run will have to be freestanding, whilst making sure to keep the ball moving for as long as possible. Students will learn about the make, try and refine sections of the innovation process. This will require creativity, teamwork, and most importantly, perseverance. Each team will need the following items. This workshop will last between one and two hours and the timings are all in the toolkit. There are optional warm-up activities followed by the main challenge. Students will have everything they need in their worksheets to get started. And of course, this will allow you time to move around the room and, uh, and help the kids wherever they need it. Once built, teams will be able to test their structures and see who is victorious. And if your teams have finished with plenty of time to spare, we've built extension activities into the toolkit. For further information, have a look at the teaching section of the toolkit, where you'll also find some top tips and the download link for all of our resources. So to get started with this, the most important thing is getting a way to attach the bulldog clips to the dowels. What we found was if you use a little bit of white tack and put that on the top here, then that will give some grip to the bulldog clips. And so that's how you hold them on like that. So that allows you to then connect this dowel at a right angle. So then from there, We put another little bit of white tack in here, and push that through. And this gives you the beginnings of your ball run. So doing that again, we'll just put some white tack in here. Take the dowel, put that through there. And then another bit of white tack should hold on here. And then we can go to the other side, and this gives you the second half of your marble run. Okay, and then if you need, you can always add uh, elastic band. And this will just give it a little bit of extra tension. All right, so this is the beginning, like the starting blocks for what you're gonna to need to make a marble run. And then from here, you've got a few options to make the thing uh, either taller or shorter. So the way the, the way the ball's gonna work, it's gonna roll down these dowels and the straws. And so you're gonna need a, a nice angle that's not too steep that it falls down, but not too shallow that, that, that the ball stops. So that's gonna be part of the creativity that we're looking for. So what we need is variables. We need height, length, um, and then we need to add as many different sections as, as, as we like. So one of the things we can use is the straws and they can actually give us a little bit of extra length um, and they can, let me just stick this down. So they give us length and then I, if I go here again, um, you can see we can adjust the length here to give, us, to give us the distance that we want. You can also bring in extra lengths. So here we've got another couple of dowels that are, that are a little bit shorter and by attaching them here, and then sliding the straws in, you can see we've got the beginnings of a marble run. So then it'll be a case of testing with the, with the ball, see if it's too wide, too thin, too shallow, or just right. So if you wanna make it higher, there's another trick you can use, which is to add two dowels on top of each other. So here we've just literally clipped those on, and that gives us that extra height, and then again, by attaching these here and here. We can do the same trick with the dowels. And again with the straws. Now we should be able to make the ball roll down the marble run and making any adjustments necessary as we go. Good luck and if you have any problems have a look at the toolkit and you should find everything you need to run a really good session.